Pressure ulcers can occur anywhere, but most commonly they're going to be on bony prominences that do weight support. The tailbone, the ischium, which is where you're actually sitting, where I'm actually sitting right now. If they're laying in bed, their shoulder blades, their elbows, their knees, their ankles, their feet and heels, any place where there's pressure and contact that can impede the blood flow to that area can lead to a pressure wound. You also have to be very careful because a lot of orthopedic devices, braces, slings, casts can put pressure on the wound and sometimes that will cause uh, our pressure on the skin and can cause a wound as well. Those bony prominences are holding the weight and if there's pressure on it, if I push on you with my knuckle for a little period of time, it'll eventually become uncomfortable to you and you'll move away from it. Some of these people have Im impaired sensation and their sensorium is impaired and they don't recognize that pressure or they have diabetes in their feet it have a neuropathy so they don't feel pain like you and I do and that pressure over a bony prominence acts like a tourniquet and actually cuts off the blood supply and the tissue actually dies. Stage 2 ulcer is a very partial um, injury into the skin and the skin has various thickness throughout the body. It can be very thin in places like the inner thigh or on your face. It can be very thick on your back. So a stage 2 wound, can, it, it's not how deep it is in terms of a measurement of millimeters, it's actually whether it's all the way through the dermis. And if it's not all the way through the dermis, then it's a stage two wound. Stage three wound means the entire skin or dermis and epidermis have been disrupted into the fat, but you're not disrupting the, anything below the muscle fascia or not disrupting the muscle fascia. So you're really dealing with just deep subcutaneous tissue. A stage four pressure ulcer is one in which you are looking at either tendon, um, ligaments, bone, uh, any structure below, muscle, anything below the subcutaneous fat lay layer is considered a stage four wound. Certainly you see more pressure ulcers in the older population because they tend to be immobilized more frequently, although young people who have conditions like multiple sclerosis, spina bifida, spinal cord injuries, bad injuries from a car wreck or trauma where they're laying in bed for a long period of time, they also can develop it. But as we get older, our skin integrity is not as good as it is when we're young. That's why we develop wrinkles and our skin gets thin. Nutrition tends to be an issue. Uh, the older people don't tend to stay hydrated as well. They don't have the sense of thirst like a younger person does. They tend to have more concomitant medical conditions, diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney problems, peripheral arterial disease. They're on medications that affect skin adversely, like steroids or chemotherapy drugs or gout drugs or arthritis medications. All those can have an adverse effect on the skin. Mm -hmm.